and welcome to Talking Happily Ever After. In this podcast, we talk about movies with a Happily Ever After team. I'm your host, Danielle. Feel free to drop me a DM, a voice message, or an email on the available platforms linked in the description box. Happy listening! Happy New Year to one and all. For this new year, I wish you health, success, and good cheer. Welcome, welcome to the official launch of Talking Happily Ever After. A big thank you to everyone for the positive feedback I received on the three soft launch episodes. These episodes aired between September and December of the past year. If you haven't listened to them yet, please do so. What do I have in store for you in this year? Well, I'll review movies, I'll have some guests on the podcast to talk about important issues. Most of all, I hope to have loads of fun with you guys. For the first official installment of the podcast, I chose the movie Winter in Fail. It's one of my favorite Hallmark movies. The movie premiered on the 4th of January 2020 with Lacey Chabert as Chelsea and Tyler Hines as Owen in the leading roles. Chelsea is an event planner at Elegance Events in Los Angeles. The position of VP Director of Events Development is opening up soon and she hopes to land the job. Although she is qualified, she does not get the promotion. Of course, Chelsea is disappointed. The same day, she receives a letter from a lawyer informing her that she inherited a chalet in Fail, Colorado from her uncle Grady. As a little girl, Chelsea was very close to her uncle, but when she went to college, the contact between the two became less and less. On arrival in Fail, Chelsea comes across Owen. She wasn't observant concerning the parking rules in the town center, so Owen lectures her about them. During her stroll through town, she meets Carl, the owner of the best snitchel restaurant in Fail, the Edelweiss. Before going to the chalet, she stocks up on some groceries. I mean, a girl has to eat, right? At a store, she runs into Molly, who works at the Edelweiss. So since her arrival in Phil, she already met Owen, Carl, and Molly. So she finally arrives at a chalet, and the outside is just breathtaking. The inside, however, does not look good. Grady started remodeling, but passed before they completed the work. The realtor, Beverly, contacts the contractor. And when the contractor arrives sometime later, yes, you guessed it, it's Owen, and he will finish the renovations. Owen suggests Chelsea has dinner at the Edelweiss since it's her first night in Fail. Yes, the Edelweiss. You see, the owner of the restaurant, Carl, is Owen's dad. He was also one of Uncle Grady's best friends. They started the Edelweiss together. and Grady was the pastry chef at the restaurant. At the restaurant, Chelsea notices that the restaurant is not busy at all. In fact, she's the only guest. The businesses in the old part of town have been struggling. Tourists prefer the more modern side of Fail. Owen starts working on the chalet. And Chelsea made him lists of how to tackle the work. Can you imagine? Alphabetized and by room. Sounds like someone I know. <laughs> Owen encourages Chelsea to take some time away from work. Remember, she quit her job, so she has to start from the bottom up. She's starting her own business. They go tubing together with Molly and her boyfriend, 
We talk about their lives and Owen shares with her that he's an architect, but he returned to fail to help his dad with the restaurant. He also tells her that his dad will have to close the restaurant if business doesn't pick up soon. They like spending time together, Chelsea and Owen. While cleaning out some cabinets at a chalet, Chelsea finds an album full of pictures of her and Uncle Grady. She also finds his famous apple strudel recipe. She gives the recipe to Carl, hoping that putting strudel back on the menu will bring back some clients. Chelsea and Owen continue to spend time together. They go ice skating, they stroll around the city, and Chelsea gets a brilliant idea for a festival to help the whole town. Owen comes up with the name Strudelfest. They present the idea to Carl, Molly, and Beverly. You remember Beverly, right? She's the realtor, but she also helped with the pastries at the restaurant, and she has her eyes set on Carl. Chelsea is in her element. She starts planning immediately. She mobilizes all the shop owners. There's going to be a street fair highlighting arts and crafts, but the main event is a strudel competition. With Owen's help, Chelsea recruits judges for the strudel competition. One of the judges, Chef Laura, serves hot chocolate at her restaurant. She fills chocolate globes with baby marshmallows and sprinkles them with gold dust. She puts those globes in a cup and pours hot cocoa over the globes. As the hot fluid hits the globes, they melt and the marshmallows pop up. This hot chocolate is worth a try, don't you think? Fianna, Chelsea's best friend, who still works for Elegance Events, visits unannounced. Her boss, Trish, has sent her to get Chelsea back. The new VP made a mess of things. And her boss wants Chelsea back to clean up that mess. In the meantime, the town is bussing with activities for the festival and Vienna lends a helping hand with the final tasks. The festival is a raving success. Owen and Chelsea also enter the strudel competition. They make a strudel using Uncle Grady's recipe. In this way, they want to honor Grady's memory. They don't win the competition, Beverly does. As you know, Chelsea quit her job. She tries to start her own event planning business. Because of the work she did organizing the festival, she gets her first client. A visitor at a festival wants to hire her to plan an opening of some sort. Trish, her old boss, calls during the festivities and she offers Chelsea a VP position, a corner office, and Chelsea can set her own salary. This is what Chelsea has worked for all those years. It's her dream job. But there's a small problem. During the skiing, the walks around town, the dinners, the baking, Owen and Chelsea got very close and developed feelings for one another. After talking to Trish, Chelsea has a heart-to-heart -heart with Owen. She explains to him that this job is very important to her. She loves Phil, but it's not her reality. She has to go back to LA, where the big clients are. She has to try this new job. Of course, they're both heartbroken. Chelsea lists the chalet 
and goes back to LA. She is now VP of Events Development and has the corner office, but in essence, nothing has changed. She is very unhappy. She wants a slower pace and she misses Owen. In Phil, Strudel is back on the menu and the businesses are doing much better. Owen gets an offer to do architectural work. He's working on expansion plans for a restaurant. Owen and his dad have an important conversation. His dad tells him not to let the love of his life slip through his fingers, not to give up. And he tells his dad that he deserves love too. Of course, he's referring to Beverly. Owen has left some tools at the chalet and he has to pick them up. And when he arrives at the chalet, to his surprise, Chelsea is there. Chelsea received so many job offers from the people in Vail and she wants to be on Vail time. And above all, she misses Owen. She wants to be with him. They kiss on the deck Owen built and as we say, they lived happily ever after. As I said in the beginning, Winter in Veil vale is one of my favorite Hallmark movies. It's in my top 10. The story is well written. I loved the scenery. I also loved the cozy atmosphere they created in the chalet, in the restaurants and at the festival. The wardrobe was fitting in my opinion. Okay, okay, let me come clean. Lazy Chabert, and Tyler Hines are two of my favorite Hallmark leading actors. They are brilliant at what they do. They have great chemistry and they play their roles in a very believable way. The other cast members also did a fine job portraying their characters. I got a few reminders from this movie. The first one is people take you for granted, go somewhere else. Chelsea was a very hard worker. She was the best event planner and still she didn't get the promotion. Go where you are celebrated. It's easier said than done, I know, but just try. The second one is never give up on your dreams. Sometimes you have to put those dreams on hold. Don't give up. Architecture was Owen's passion. He put his plan on hold to help his dad. Family should always come first. The third, community is important. All the businesses in the old part of town were in trouble. But the owners came together and participated in the festival benefiting the whole town. In real life, things may not go this easy, but at least try to make a change in your circumstances. The fourth, ask for help. Asking for help does not make you weak. And the last one, be empathetic, be helpful, be kind. Chelsea had her own problems. She had just quit her job and was trying to start her own business. But her troubles did not keep her from helping others. I really like that. There were a lot more reminders, but I'll stop at these five. Okay, do I have any critique? I have two things. Vienna's wig or weave? Um, no, it was ill-fitting and ugly. Beverly's accent? I didn't understand that. Was she supposed to be German? Anyway, so how do I rate this movie, you ask? On a scale of one to five stars, 
I rate this movie 4.5. I really loved this movie. So this is all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me on the first official episode of the podcast. As you go about your week, may peace be yours, may abundance overflow, may you be a light wherever you go.